a Cards with Michael production. What's up, YouTube? It's Cards with Michael. Today we're going to open a Strixhaven Japanese set booster. This is sponsored by Thomas. Thank you so much. Um, so I've been getting questions. So before Strixhaven released, I was being asked like, hey, uh, where, you know, can you get the, actually no, no. Can you get Japanese alternate art, mystical archive cards from the Japanese product? And I was like, yes. And then someone said, I heard that you can get it in the English collector product. And I was like, yes. And then I was asked, well, that doesn't make sense. Like, uh, you know, I, I heard you can only get it in the Japanese product. And I was like, no. So usually before a set releases, there's an article called Collecting Strixhaven that tells you kind of everything. And um, yeah, today we're gonna explore Japanese set boosters um, because that article says that every other uh, pack should have a alternate art um, mystical archive card. Now, these Japanese set boosters, however, will not have any type of etched foil. Here's our first art card, by the way. So these are just like English. They have that art card. They have your basic land and a couple of commons that are related. These are all like lore hold, some uncommons, there's a wild card. Don't care about that too much. Sometimes you get two rares. All right, here is our first rare. And look at that, a mystical archive card. This is Mind's Desire. That was the Frostboil Snarl, by the way. And a foil, you're guaranteed a foil per pack, as well as a potential chance at the list. This time it was a token. All right, so that's pack number one. <clears throat> and uh, I do have an etched foil mystical archive here just to compare. So let me just grab that real quick. Um, once again, the etch foils are collector box exclusive. They can, you can get them from any collector box, any language. Here's an etch foil. There's that, that very subtle etch on the side. And uh, wait, that's not even an alternate art. Okay, let's actually get an alternate art before we talk about that. Um, so it's been cr kind of crazy because uh, lately, in the last couple of days, we have opened seven um, mystical archive, or sorry, seven Strixhaven. Ooh, here's our, our signed art card. Neat. We've opened seven uh, English collector boxes on video, but I'm still being asked like, how do you get the Japanese alt art? And I still I had one person that said that you can't get them in the collector boxes. And I was like, wait, we opened seven, right? Um, so I think, you know, it, it kind of blows people's minds that an English product would have Japanese cards, uh, but it's been, you know, the official Mothership website has talked about that. so. Um, as a PSA, you can get Japanese alt art, mystical archive cards from English collector boxes. Ooh, this is really pretty. Lightning bolt. All right. Art cards are neat. All right, here we go. On to the next pack. Is this foil? Oh, yeah, sometimes this can be foil. I don't really. <laughs> Whatever, right? Here we go. We got our uncommon, uncommon, our first rare. And boom, there we go. So this is a non-etched foil. See, there's no, um, interestingly, that logo feels a little etched, a little bit of foil. But here's Infuriate, our first alternate art mystical archive card. Neat. Um, I think maybe I'll make my thumbnail like, like this or something. Yeah, I like that. Okay, anyways. Um, we've opened three packs and gotten one of these. Let's count how many of these alternate art mystical archives you can get. No, you can still get the foil, uh, mystical archive alternate art. Ooh, okay, we've got the Lorehold Elder Dragon. But you cannot get the etch foil. That's exclusive to the collected product. Hopefully everyone's been having a great day. Today's a Friday, of course. Always excited when it's Friday. That's double rares. Here's our Adventurous Impulse, all right? And another foil. This is foil defiant strike. Um, according to the website, the Watsi website, collecting strike seven. These are called the global version because every single country but Japan uh, will have this in their native language. Japan also has it. Sorry, every single country has it in their native language. Only J Japan has potential of getting these alternate arts. And we're expecting 15 of these alternate arts, uh, potentially more because of uh, possible foiling but at least 15. All right. And that is a, a mission for today. Oh man, these are a little bit hard to open. Uh, these are made in Japan. So let me prove that 
by showing you the made in Japan sign. Okay, these are all made in Japan. I've seen multiple cases of this. Doesn't matter which country you live in, uh, you will get the made in Japan version. What is this? On, oh, I can't, don't know because I can't read the art. Is this channel? Oh, geez, I actually don't know. Okay, here we go. On to the next. We got ourselves a pennant, Plarg. I'm just gonna start a new rare pile here. Silver Pool Command. All right, our uh, village rights. And we do have a card from the list. It's a shambling shell. All right, I think what we'll do is list right there, rares right here, and on to the next pack. Um, Japanese set boosters, of course, have a huge market premium compared to the English ones. Um, I did this box break for 160. Uh, I believe that the English versions are only worth about 110 English uh, strict save and set boosters. But the Japanese ones, I've seen numbers all across the board. I think Amazon at one point was selling them for 124, which is totally fair. I've seen much higher and I've seen much lower. All right, we got Infuriate and this foil and another card from the list. Wow, both of these are from original Ravnica. That's so super cool, Ravnica City of Guilds. Right. Mm -hmm. What do we got here? We got art card. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. I think this is the blue uh, X, blue, 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 draw a bunch of cards. All right, here we go. The Biblioplex. Wow, okay, so we have Mizix Mastery in Japanese. All right. The bear and a, a, a little token to teach you how to play a card game. I don't even know which one that is. I, uh, I honestly, I was really excited about set boosters when I first heard about them, but my excitement has died down a lot. Ooh, Urza's Rage. Um, mainly because there's just nothing like exclusive to set boosters. So they are kind of just like draft boosters designed to be opened. But at that point, like why I would rather just have like half a collector box most of the time. Um, I, you know, I really, really am curious what you guys feel. Got a little foil here, a little token. Um, and that's just because I, I do like the shinies. Uh, I like having less bulk and um, yeah, that, that's like the main thing. And uh, I want to get the exclusive cards because for example, the collector boosters, you, you have exclusive access to the etched foils, which you know, for this set, not really that noticeable, but for future sets, I do appreciate getting access to that kind of stuff. There's just like no reason for me as a collector to get these set boosters. Um, it could be a value reason, but, uh, ooh, okay, we have a Tortured Existence. card is actually quite playable, so it's a neat little card from the list. Um, but I would argue that even value-wise, I think you're getting about the same amount of value, especially if you're just collecting the, um, the what do you call these, the uh, etched foils. Wow, what is this? Oh, this is Eliminate. These art, these horizontal arts really do um, get that, you know, art to be popping. All right, Exodus or Eek, something, something king, mage, queen, whatever. The Strixhaven Stadium, Putrefy, and a Prismari Pledge Mage Foil and an Inkling. In ja Inkling in Japanese. Right. Wow, this is actually kind of nuts. We just opened maybe like 10 packs and we've only actually gotten those two alternate arts. Um, now, now every single pack so far has had a mystical archive. It's just, you don't always get a mystical archive introduction of prophecy. You don't always get a mystical archive alternate art. You're always getting the, what Wizards is calling the global version. All right, we have our Fury Calm Snarl. And speaking of alternate arts, there's our Village Rights, right? Professor Symbology. And uh, not even a token, just a piece of cardboard. All right, next pack. Here we go. With a bloom, a command. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ourselves a nice little rare. Gift of estates and a foil. Jeez, there really isn't that many mystical archive cards. All we've got are three uncommons. Um, there are 18 uncommons, 30 rares, and 15 mythics. 
uh, for those who are curious and haven't read that collecting Strixhaven website yet. Um, so you'll see uncommons repeat quite a lot, uh, but you won't see rares repeat as much because there's 30 of them. All right, what, is, what is this? Stone Rain. Stone Rain, beautiful art. Holy moly. It's gorgeous. All right, maybe that's one thing. So that is the what's exclusive to the set boosters are these art cards. Um, and so some people do like them. I, I'm, you know, I, I don't love them. Cultivate, cultivate, noise, and a foil. And we have a Nizumi Grave Robber. Nice. This is from Kamigawa, Champions of Kamigawa. Very powerful card. I actually love playing this in cubes. It's reanimate on a stick. It's graveyard hate. This has a lot going for it. Mana sync. All right, here we go. Next pack. Uh, that's the fine strike. All right, let's keep, you know, this guy's attacking some lobster. Here we go. We have double major, frozen grip, and a little foil action here. So also spirit token. Uh, what is this? This is a wither bloom. The elder mage. Here we go. Hey, apparently this card is worth something. Wandering archaic. Uh, that is claim the firstborn and a foil uh, pledge mage. Um, one thing I will say is the card stock on Japanese cards is always excellent. Uh, the colors are sometimes a little bit muted. Um, for this one, I don't really notice a difference, but it can be like that. Um, but the card stock is always excellent. I love the Japanese cardboard stock. I prefer it over the Belgian ones, too. Okay, another Snarl, Agonizing Remorse, and Foil. Um, I also think that the Japanese product typically is just, there's just like less issues. That the Belgian product often will have like, more more often will have misprints, is what I've noticed from my history of opening a lot of stuff. All right, we got uh, the Theoretical Dean. I can't remember <laughs> his name. Dean of Theory. All right, we have Prismari Command and a Defiant Strike. Excellent, one of my favorites. Definitely one of my favorites. And Foil, and we got that. Blood Avatar. Thought it would be uh, one of those Phyrexian monsters. Uh, Praetor. I thought Jin Gitaxius would be in here, but I guess not. All right, what is this? Grape Shot. How do I? It's crazy that I can recognize some of these. I've not really studied it at all. At all. Manvinder. Mavinder. Sorry, not Manvinder. Compulsive Research and a Foil One Two with Double Strike. All right. I really am kind of mystified. We, we should be expecting a lot more of these alternate arts. All right, here we go. We got, uh, I forgot what that was. <laughs> Keep going. All right, here we are. We got ourselves um, the ingenious uh, something and a foil, as well as a primal vigor. That's actually an excellent card from the list. Um, it just wasn't really reprinted and, you know, doubling side doubling effects are great. This one notably does not double loyalty for Planeswalkers, which is kind of its major downfall compared to doubling season. But still, Primal Vigor, excellent card. Excellent card from the list. I wouldn't be surprised if it's one of the most valuable cards we pulled. Rutha. All right, let's see. We got ourselves... Uh, I forgot what that one was. Uh, Crows and Grip. And... Annihilation. So Annihilation is so good, Introduction to Annihilation. Uh, every time I see it, I'm just like, yep, yeah, I want to draft it. I think it's like a must-have, a one-of, um, as a lesson, just because it gives you that flexibility. All right, here we go. This pack, we got ourselves another Snarl, right? And here is Ephemerate, our first rare. Wait, no, our second rare. Close and Grip was a rare, right? Very nice. Very, very nice. And um, the thought sees plus, plus one plus one counter on my creature. I think that card's well designed. Two mana, effective thought sees, get a counter on your creature. Or weak lore mage. Oops, that's a token. All right, let's see. Hey, Tenazir Quandrix. Nice little elder dragon, vanishing burst. So that's a double rare. As well as a thrill of possibilities. Right. 
Um, I think from my opening experience so far, like I'm not really that high on these set boosters, these Japanese language set boosters. I do feel like um, the collector boosters of any language, if you're just trying to collect the, the etched, um, the mystical archive cards, I do think that any language collector booster is just a little bit better, just a little bit better. Here's a regrowth, very nice. And we do have a card from the list. This is Moon Mist, okay. Um, I think that, you know, they, they're very deliberate with what's what's on the list nowadays. Like, Moon Mist makes me think of Innistrad. And Innistrad is, happens, happens to be um, an upcoming um, set. So, exciting for that. Excited for that, rather. Here is Agonizing Remorse. Jeez. Jeez, that art. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait. Maybe I've been skipping rares again, but that's a Wandering of the Archaics. Did not expect a rare to be in that second slot, but I guess it's the same thing. It's just a lesson slot. We have a Galazeth Prismari, nice little mythic, and another rare, as well as Shock, and a foil, and Release the Doggos. Wow, this was in Jumpstart, and they've already reprinted it onto the list. Okay, I mean, that card wasn't exactly worth a lot of money, but uh, okay. The list is like sometimes exciting, but most of the time not exciting. And that's like my main issue with the set booster product. All right, we got uh, Dina. Right. And foil. We just got a rare here. Oh, finally. All right. We got the crux of fate. The two derpy dragons looking at each other. I love that. All right. So that will be our mythic little foil. I think that's flunk. All right. Okay, all right, we got something. Um, yeah, I think if Strixhaven Japanese set boosters were, were half the price of a collector, I would probably still go with the collector, but they're more than half the price. So that's that's kind of why I would rather go with just a kind of an English collector product. And that's why, that's the main product we're gonna open. Um, but I, I was curious and really, really grateful, Thomas, for you sponsoring this. Um, I don't know. It's a it's a different experience for for everyone, right? Like for me, I'm like, oh man, I just want to, I just want like a big stack of the Japanese alt art <laughs> musical archive cards. Um, here we have Time Warp, gorgeous card, just gorgeous art, and we got a rare here, Eliminate the competition, and a foil rare Strict Proctor. All right, last three packs left. What a what an opening! Thirty packs. It's kind of a slog, isn't it? What do you guys think? Honestly, just let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, I, you guys probably disagree with me and that's totally okay. I just think that this is just not my thing anymore. I just don't really like the set booster product as, as much. I really wanted to like it, but I don't. All right, two more packs left. Agonizing Remorse. Can't wait to count how many of those mystical archive cards we actually pulled. All right, we got our Snarl, Frost Boil, Snarl. And did I skip rare? No, I didn't. We have the uh, Combustible something. All right, Rejuvenate and a Foil Rare. All right, finally, last pack. Let's get a, another Mystical Archive. That would be excellent. Another Mystical Archive, Alternate Art Japanese. Let's go, let's go. It's our art. Rejuvenate. I think that's rejuvenate. Yeah, it's rejuvenate. And oh, last pack. We got the lily. I mean, um, <clears throat> Professor Onyx. That's actually really nice to end with. Oh, I enjoy that. And another rare, Arik Lore Mage, as well as a brainstorm and a foil campus. All right, let's count how many of these mystical archive cards we, we ended up with. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So slightly above average. We were expecting fifteen. Let's see the rarity count. Uh, the rarity breakdown. One mythic. All right. Here's one rare. Two, three, four, four rares. All right. So thirteen. Um, one mythic, four rares. All right. So that makes eight uncommons. All right, guys. That's the box opening. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you on the